Nanjing city has a long history. It was the capital of China a few times. <laughs> many, many times because Nanjing is regarded as a very, has very good feng shui. So emperors like feng shui. Okay. You know, feng shui. But people think the this energy, place, yes. it, <laughs> place is, very, is blessed. And okay. many emperors like to put their capital city here. Fair yeah. enough. So I mentioned that uh, this gate has very genius defensive system here because you see there are many layers here. Like so the court, courtyards in yeah. between the uh, layers. Yes. So, so the defenders can allow the visitors or whoever comes to enter the courtyard, yeah. close the gate both sides and shoot them from the high. Yes, that's what I want to say. The enemy enter <laughs> and then <laughs> they close the gate and the enemy was separated into different parts and the people shoot them in different parts will be easier for, I already said for our enemy. So. And uh, what's more, you didn't know is that in the city where there are rooms, empty yes. rooms, the, our soldiers hide in the room. So when enemy came and they, the, our soldiers go out and uh, kill the enemies. And uh, thousands of soldiers can hide in the wall. I believe the defensive walls they work similarly around the world, actually. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> and you hide in the wall too? <laughs> sure, sure. If there was a big enough city and a big enough wall protecting the city, then yes. Mm. So anyway, another day, two days ago, we had a walk also in the other parts of the old town. What can you say about it? There are so many attractions to visit, that's true. So it's too much to, to actually make a one, one video walk from this. Yeah, that's so, so I guess we stay in Nanjing for, whew, for quite a long time. So we will have opportunity to go to different places. Mm. Mm, just today and two days ago, we had like a short, short walk around. Yeah, the first day we went to the most important place in Nanjing city, the Confucius temple. Why it's most important, Confucius, not the palace of, of the, you know, emperor? It's the most popular tourist attraction. Okay. And, and, and a, like a very commercial shopping center, entertainment mm. center, all the people like there. Mm. You know, I like to go there from time to time. Even even I am already a local. Local people like to go there. Doesn't mean that I like to go there to go shopping or to eat street food. I just like to go there because there are a lot of people and you can feel the atmosphere. It's very nice. To people, happy people and tourist people, <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. It's really nice and they have a lot of performance there too, mm. especially during the festival or something. We have to again go there in the, during the weekend and I guess in the evening maybe. Mm, yes, yes. In the evening there are lamp shows, light shows. And yeah. More people because during the day, in the weekdays, most of the people, local population, of course they work and more, during think, the day we see more tourists <laughs> and think, also in the yeah, night exactly. too i think that most of the people we saw they were tourists yeah you don't know you don't know <laughs> mm. and also in old time in old time people also like that place to go there in the evening <laughs> obviously night night life <laughs> yes yeah. there was alcohol <laughs> there, were, there were there was music there were prostitutes restaurant <laughs> Yes. Mm. Fair enough. Mm. Yeah, we will see a lot of things in this place because it's a city with a virus content, really. Mm. Full of culture and history. And how it is now? What, what modern Chinese people think about Nanjing? Nanjing is... Um, it's not even first year city anymore. One of the biggest anymore. city is uh, one of the, you know, it's a leading city of this region. Sure, but what people think, like, like you know, not people from the like region. People like to come here. You know, a good, a signal or to judge a city is attractive. It has prom has prospect. Is that to see? whether people want to move in or, or the amount of people move out. So mm. in Nanjing here, it's always the people who move in are more than the people who move out. Really? Mm. 
Okay. So we will, we have very mm, how 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 is this word? We have expectation about uh, the price of the apartment in the city that they will not crash <laughs> because <laughs> <laughs> okay because this city is still developing. <laughs> Okay, and enough. it's very important. How many place. people live right now in Nanjing? I don't know. I didn't track. More than nine nine million. Oh, it looks like you know better than me. <laughs> mm. But yes, you see, I live in China in many cities already. I can see that this city has a lot of population, and Shanghai too. Shanghai has a lot of people Obviously. live there, and even though. A great pressure to live in big cities, but people people still want to come here because there are more opportunities. Mm. And you have better quality of life better in, quality. in bigger city. But in general, I like the city. I'm. I can say that I'm half Nanjing people. My yes. grandfather was born here. Okay. Although he moved to Kunming later and he's, he lived there forever <laughs> later. And then um, I work here for like more than three years, four years here. And before I work here, I visited here once or twice before. Once or twice? <laughs> yeah, as a tourist. Hmm. So when you came for the first time to Nanjing as a tourist, mm. how old were you? Oh. When I was in high school, high middle school? school, middle school, what, what age is it? 16, 17? Yeah, maybe. Do you remember what did you see back then? What did you I visit? I went to the most important places of interest, like uh, President Palace and Purple Mountain and um, the Confucius Temple. Mm. Mm. Yeah. It was it was like one day visit or like a few no, days? No, uh, three days. Three days. It was so hot. It was summer, very hot, and the the day started at three o'clock already. Three o'clock? Yeah. <laughs> Are you kidding me? And it's interesting. We live in a relative's apartment, and the relative get up very early. They get up like four or five already, and they prepare breakfast. Just a plain porridge. They cook a rice with more mm. water and become a por porridge, and that's that's their breakfast. <laughs> Okay. It's funny. <laughs> and I remember it so like yeah, that's a, the most uh, impressive thing is that it's so hot here. Mm. Why it doesn't look hot now? In summer it's very hot. It is famous here that the city is very hot, one of the hottest. What is the geographical location of Nanjing? How can you compare with other places in the world? Nanjing is very close to Shanghai and very close to the east coast and just in the on the south of Changjiang River. So we are in the south of China. China is separated by Changjiang River into north part and the south part and we just said uh, at the beginning of south part. Which parallel it is? What? <laughs> on the map on Globus which parallel it is? Thirty second. <laughs> So 30 second parallel is like North Africa, can you imagine? <laughs> North Africa. Yes. All right, but you cannot, you cannot say that because it's at the same oh, it's like level Florida. of Africa. So no, of course the it's not the same. Like the weather is completely different. Uh, it's more wet because it's close to the ocean. And I would even say that during the winter period of time, it's colder than I could it's expect. very cold. It becomes really, it's very cold. it really can become really unpleasantly cold so. and even now it's almost April and we have to have two blouses to, to be outside today Compared although a few to days ago a few days ago it was already 24 25 degrees and uh, in this weekend it will become again this hot temperature mm -hmm. so it's not that bad yeah it's it's a problem that in China on north part of China they have heating but just across the river in the south people have no heating although sure. the temperature in winter is so low and so cold and we just sit at home mm. so the river name yes Freezing. what's the name of the river changjiang river changjiang so it said this is the, the the yellow river 
No, Yellow River is on north, and Changjiang River in the south. There are okay. two rivers. Like so, the river, this, this river through. became arbitrary, a boundary between the north and the south. Yes. And people decided that in the south, because it's south, it's warm enough that, <laughs> that the heating system is not necessary at houses. Mm. And just on the other side of the river in the north, people have the heating system because it's already the north. Mm. And Nanjing is very unfortunate to be just on the edge of the river, on the bank on the river, but on the wrong side of the river, on the mm. south side of the river. Mm. What about the cities which are on both sides of the river? What is it, like Wuhan is on both sides, for example? <laughs> I've never been there. <laughs> I think so, that the river it's goes like through the Wuhan. There are the of Nanjing also on the north side of the river. And what, they, they, have have, a, they, and they don't, don't have a heating, heating system, no. okay. Mm. It would be unfair. <laughs> <laughs> Uh -huh. Alright, let's go to have it to walk. Mm, okay. Let's go. We will have some other attraction to visit. Mm. Maybe we'll find some street food, special food. Okay, we came to restaurant. We came to eat the special dish in Nanjing, the fried dumpling. Fried dumplings, beef filling, yeah. Fried baozu, mm. and the green thing, whatever you have there. Green thing is a seasonal thing. Now it's a cleaning tool. Then this, and this green thing is made of some plants, plant juice to make it green, and it smells very fragrant. And but but it, what sticky, type of sticky sticky rice thing? And there okay. are some filling inside. Yeah. Right. Have you watched the movie A Clockwork Orange? No. The guy he have a jacket, white jacket, with a clockwork orange writing, but of course it's Chinglish, so it's clockworu orange. Very, very funny. <laughs> okay, okay, so let's start. Right. I'm hungry. I have to try this. According to the opinion online, it's the one of the best something. This eat with vinegar. Very juicy. Wonderful. Mm, good. Mm, good. What is that? I ordered this dumpling for myself. It's very thin skin <laughs> with the beef feeling inside. Uh, look transparent. No? Yeah. <laughs> so this are uh, the traditional dumpling. Dumpling. Variation. Yeah. Together we paid less than 50 Chinese yen. That much? Mm. Mm. See you later. 